Hey guys, thank you for tuning in to Channel BK. My name is Brian. Welcome to another late review. This one's actually much later than the last, I'm sorry. But this is for Jeff Rosenstock's We Cool. Jeff Rosenstock is a singer-songwriter, pop-punk artist, rock artist, and he's been the front-runner of many bands, including The Arrogant Sons of Bitches, Bomb the Music Industry, and he's now currently of Kudro, but he also does solo stuff as well. This album sort of came to my attention from a good friend of the show, Rewind Reviews, he told me to watch the Needle Drops review of it, and I watched it, and it seemed intriguing, and it sounded like something I would like, so I finally got around to listening to it, and it didn't disappoint. Now, one of the things that sort of got me super excited listening to this was sort of the same thing I thought about Japan Droids when I first listened to them years ago, where the sound of the music was great, it was upbeat, it was colorful, there was a lot of character to it, and this is the same way. Jeff Rosenstock just has such an incredible voice when it comes to this sort of music, and it just shows, even on certain tracks that maybe I just don't go back to as much, his vocals were just so grand, and he just knows how to have such a great time, and they just encapsulate you, and you just feel so into the song, because his singing is just so great and catchy and fun throughout these tracks. Now, obviously, for me, hearing that this was sort of like pop-punk music, I was intrigued in terms of what it was going to sound like, and from my references of pop-punk, there was sort of a couple times when I could imagine... Tom DeLonge, ex of Link-182, being singing and like kind of his wine sing. Like example, You and Weird Cities, that sort of reminded me a little bit of like a Blink-182 song in a way, and especially Polar Bear or Africa, where in the chorus, Jeff has the part where he's like, don't worry, like that sounds a lot like something Tom would say. So there's a couple little instances here and there that I instantly was like, oh, this would so sound like something that would have come off one of their albums. But to be completely honest, there's a lot of interesting, not experimentation, but sounds that he goes for, like especially on Get Old Forever, which is sort of a nice acoustic starting track. And then there's sort of like some nice drum clicks, and then it just goes into this big, rock song and it gets crazy and again just his sweeping vocals on it. You and Weird Cities is another one of my favorite tracks. It's another nice loud song. It gets a little slower sort of near the second half and then it builds back up again by the end. We get some nice slower songs like Novelty Sweater which sounds like a nice slow jam and then Beers Again Alone which sounds like a fireside song like something that you'd be around a fire singing. So there's like a couple nice variety hits here and there. Something like Nausea which has a lot of interesting instrumentation, some nice upbeat piano, there's some good drums on it, there's some like added horns later on in the track. This song kind of cracked me up a little bit, I think one of the lines that threw me off when I first heard it was near the beginning where he's like, you know, switching between porn and Robocop. Good on you, Jeff. I'm Serious, I'm Sorry is another one of my favorite tracks, and this is sort of the first track that leads into some of my favorite favorite tracks. I'm Serious, I'm Sorry starts in this nice quiet riff, and then just gets huge, just monstrous, and then I love Jeff's, like, last vocal part where he's, like, kind of fading out, and he's kind of, like, very nasally and scratchy sounding. I thought that was an awesome way to end that track, and then that is followed up by Hey Allison. Oh my god, this song, I was fist bumping the whole song. Like, the second it came on, I was just so enthralled, and that's something that I love, too, about this album, where none of the tracks are overly long, I thought. All of them stayed on for exactly the amount of time that they needed to, and Hey Allison's the perfect example. It's just under two minutes, the shortest track on the album, and I felt like I needed more because it was just so much fun, but it did exactly what it needed to do, and it did it perfectly. But yeah, that chorus, though, Hey Allison, Hey Allison, and obviously that's followed by Polar Bear Africa, which I like a lot, and then Hall of Fame, which is another one of my favorite tracks, but I feel like maybe if I had to say a weak point, I thought it was maybe the last three tracks. Now, that's not saying I hated the last three tracks, because I actually like Darkness Records a little bit, which is actually the closing track to this album. It has like a nice acoustic start, and then it has sort of this crazy breakdown, and then it ends a little quieter, and I thought that was kind of a nice way to end the album, and there's some interesting instrumentation on that. All Blissed Out was maybe the only track that when I first heard it, I don't know, maybe it just, it threw me off. Like, I feel like when I heard All Blissed out. The vocals kind of threw me off, like sort of the weird effect on his voice, and then the harmonica and stuff like that kind of, and then it obviously built more into the track, but that song kind of threw me off. But other than that, this album had me fist bumping, it had me so excited, I love all the riffs. 
There's a lot of great, interesting vibes to all the songs. There's some nice slow, heavy tracks, some very fast, upbeat tracks, some just nice, upbeat tracks, some great acoustics. Extra instrumentation was great. And Jeff Rosensock's vocals on this whole entire album just enthralled me. He was just so on point. He had some great melodies here or there, some great moments. And I definitely think that this album definitely lived up to expectations because I was a little nervous that, you know, people were saying this was so great and I was hoping that it was going to at least be that. But what do you guys think of the album? I know it's a little late. I hope you guys can still accept this review. But what are some of your favorite tracks? Leave it all in the comments below. Also, please like if you like and please subscribe if you want to see more music reviews as well as movie and television reviews and some original stuff. Rolling out soon. What other albums should I be reviewing or check out? And I am going to be doing one last sort of late-ish review. There's a bunch of stuff coming out. This year is ridiculous. So thank you guys so much for tuning in to JLBK. Peace out, guys.